So it's the end of a long day here in uh, Marina Rubicon and the FX fleet are just coming ashore. It's been a mixed day for many with the final starting tomorrow. Now is the time who's going to decide who's going to be the future champions and also who's going to get the final remaining spots for the Olympics. So we've just uh, finished the preliminary series for the FX. Glorious sunshine and winds in Lanzarote. Delighted to have someone here from the US sailing team. That, that couldn't have been easy. Please tell me about your, your trip here. Yeah, well, we're obviously really excited to be here. Um, we've been here since the end of January, so it's been amazing training and we're just really happy to be with the rest of the fleet here in Lanzarote and um, obviously have the opportunity to go racing as well. Um, our last regatta was the Keel Week event, so that was back in early September. So we are definitely eager to get over here and get racing. And, um, you know, we actually applied for some visas back in the fall um, that allowed us to travel over here um, and stay for so long. Well, first of all, we're really pleased to have you here and it just shows, you know, thinking ahead, it's obviously made a massive difference. Uh, for those people back in the States, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the, uh, the conditions we, we've had here. You've trained here a lot and, of course, about today's racing. Yeah, it's, it's been absolutely beautiful conditions here in Lanzarote. Um, beautiful, sunny, day, sunny days for the most part and, and we've had breeze every day, to be honest, and that's been great for the training. Obviously, we're looking to maximize time on the water and um, we've definitely been able to do that and a variety of conditions as well. Um, there's a nice sea state here that's similar to Japan um, and then also obviously a variety of wind conditions that are similar to Japan as well. So we're really happy being here and you know, like I said, the whole fleet is here so it's been really fun to be around everyone and do a lot of training racing. Well, the Canary Islands, they are renowned for, for their wind, so it makes an awful lot of sense for us to be here. And you've had your own personal journey coming back from uh, injury. You know, for those aspiring athletes, I feel it's a really nice story. Can you just tell us a little bit about your, your road to Tokyo? Yeah, um, we, so last, um, last February we qualified um, for the, the U.S. Olympic spot. It was a really close Olympic trials with our competitors, Paris and Anna. Um, we actually tied um, on overall points in the trials and won the tie because we beat them in the last event. So it was a, yeah, a really intense trials. And then, um, you know, with COVID hitting, we kind of were, everything was so unknown for so long this spring and this summer. Um, and I think we did a good job of making the most of our time in Miami together and training as much as we could um, alone. And then we got an opportunity to come over to Europe um, in mid-July and did a lot, we had a lot of time over here July through like middle of October and unfortunately um, during our training camp in October my crew Maggie um, had a little bit of an so can you can you tell us actually what happened with the the, the injury and uh, how how you made the recovery when the time you had available yeah um, so we are sailing in Cascais, Portugal um, we went into a jibe and um, Maggie's foot just slipped and she went um, forward um, and hit her knee quite hard. She had to get stitches in her knee um, and had a little bit of a, some damage to the knee that we had to rehab all winter. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a long process. Um, and you know, we just tried to make the most out of it as much as we could um, throughout the winter. And she did an amazing job of doing her rehab every, every day, multiple days a week. And um, you know, really, she's really, really tough. So she's made a huge comeback from that. Oh, absolutely. I think she's a, a role model and uh, an inspiration and we're so glad, well, that the results are talking for themselves. Thank you very much for your time. So, thinking ahead, Tokyo 2021, do you think the Olympic Games will go ahead? I absolutely think the Olympics are going to go ahead. Good answer. Thank you very much.